Broadly speaking, the lung abnormalities on chest X-ray can be divided into black and white abnormalities. We have previously discussed different black black abnormalities like uh, COPD, pneumothorax, pulla. Today we will be discussing various white lung field abnormalities. The wide uh, classification or opacities on a chest X-ray can be due to various reasons, including pleural effusion, collapse of the lung, consolidation, lung mass or nodules, cavity, or it can also be seen in heart failure. Though strictly speaking, the opacification on heart failure is usually a consolidation, and sometimes due to heart failure, bilateral effusion, or only right side effusion can also be seen, and then pneumonectomy as well. Out of these wide classifications, there are some of these abnormalities which can cause complete opacification of one hemithorax, which is also called as white white out. So a complete white out of unilateral hemithorax on one side of chest X-ray can be caused by a pleural effusion, lung collapse, a large mass, hemonectomy, or consolidation of the whole lung. Today we will discuss how we can differentiate between all of this. Okay, so whenever you see a large specification, the next thing you have to decide is whether there is volume loss or not. Volume loss can be decided by position of trachea, which is normally central, position of the diaphragm, and position of the mediastinum. So if we concentrate on this x-ray, you can see there is complete opacification of right side with trachea shifted towards the same side. Here you can see this is the tracheal channel. Trachea is central in a normal x-ray, but here it is shifted towards the right side, which means there is volume loss on the right side. Otherwise, you cannot see the mediastinal border, the heart border, or the right hemi diaphragm. There is complete homogeneous opacification of right hemi thorax. So this means that there is loss of volume and the normal lung is has reduced in volume. So this can be seen in atelectasis or lung collapse, complete collapse of the lung. We have discussed this in another video before. What can be the causes of complete collapse? There, that can be an endobronchial tumor, mucus plugging, foreign body, or compression on bronchus from the outside. Then moving on to the next extreme. Here you can again see that there is complete opacification of left hemithorax this time. And as I told you, next thing you need to do is to look at mediastinum, trachea, and diaphragm. Here you can see the trachea is shifted towards the opposite side. It is pushed towards the opposite side. So there, that means there is no loss of volume. And in fact, there is something which is pushing the trachea towards the opposite side. And if you remember from your anatomy that normally the left hemi diaphragm is lower as compared to the right one. But here, although you cannot see the diaphragm separately, but you can see that there is stomach bubble here which means diaphragm would be above this. So, the diaphragm is raised. So, there is something pushing the trachea towards the opposite side. What, what can be pushing the trachea towards the opposite side with wide opacification? This is a case of pleural effusion. And there can be many causes of pleural effusion, which we will discuss in another lecture. But in this case, if you look at the right side, you can clearly see that there is an opacity, a rounded opacity in the right upper zone. So this is likely case of a metastatic or malignant pleural effusion. So moving forward, looking at this X-ray, you can see that the patient has got a lot of lines and tubes. ETT and endotracheal tube can be seen. Similarly, these wires can be seen for cardiac monitoring. So patient is in ICU. And if you 
have a closer look at the x-ray you can see that there is a complete classification in left hemithorax and you can see that within that classification there is this black opacity black linear linear branching opacity is here this is what we call as air bronchogram so trachea dividing into main bronchi and main bronchi is further dividing into upper low bronchus and then bronchus intermedius lower low bronchus and sorry this left side so here it would be upper low and lower low bronchus so whenever you see a bronchogram like this in an in a opacification or white uh, lung shadow then it is a consolidation so consolidation can, can be due to many causes but most commonly it is due to pneumonia and infection and it can also be seen in heart failure and sometimes interstitial lung disease as well this is an other x-ray in which you can see the complete opacification on left side and if you have a look you can see that the trachea is shifted towards the same side and this is again stomach bubble stomach bubble is moved up which means there is volume loss and then you can also see a small hyperlucency in the apical region so this is a case of pneumonectomy there was history of left pneumonectomy so after pneumonectomy the space is filled by thick fluid and there is volume loss evidence of volume loss and there could be hyperinflation of the contralateral lung so in summary whenever you see wide opacification you have to go through this scheme first you can look whether the opacification is homogeneous or non-homogeneous Homogeneous opacification can be due to lung effusion, it can be due to lung collapse as well. Heterogeneous opacification can be due to consolidation with air bronchogram, which, which can give black appearance within this white shadow. Then see if there are any air bronchogram because that would be a consolidation. Then see whether there is volume loss or not because volume loss will suggest pneumonectomy or more commonly lung collapse and also note where what is the location of the abnormality effusion is mostly in the lower zone all, although located effusion can be found anywhere similarly location will help you in deciding where is the abnormality by using what we call a select sign if it is obliterating the diaphragm shadow then that will mean that it is in the lower lobe. If it is selecting the hard border, the right hard border, then it means it is in the right middle lobe. If left hard border, then it means it's the lingula. If it is in the upper zones, then it is most probably in the left or right upper lobes. So if you have any further question, you can post in the comments. And if you want to discuss any specific X-ray, you can send that X-ray or let me know in the comments which X-ray you want to read or you want to discuss. Thank you.